Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do a non-spoiler book review over Standoff by Andrew Smith. Now I just got back from a four mile walk with my friend Cecile, so I am sorry if I'm looking a little grungy today. It is what it is. I got back home and I was thinking, oh my goodness, I just read Standoff and I have not reviewed it for my viewers yet. So instead of being a responsible adult and taking a shower, um, naturally I slapped on on some lipstick and changed my shirt and now I'm sitting in front of you guys. So Standoff is the sequel to Winger which is a coming of age story following our main character Ryan Dean. And I did do a review over that first book and I will leave that down below if you guys are wanting to hear more of my thoughts. But we are here today to talk about the sequel which I said is Standoff. If you guys haven't read Winger yet I highly suggest you leaving right about now. Alright so for those of you who have read Winger and you want to hear my thoughts about Standoff, here they are. So this is the direct sequel. So we follow Ryan Dean as he is now a senior in high school. He is still on the rugby team, but he is dealing with the aftermath of losing one of his best friends friends. Now picking up Standoff, I was expecting this book to be absolutely hilarious and have that Andrew Smith charm just like Winger did and I did get that but I did not realize how deep and dark this book was going to be. It dealt a lot with mental illness and some PTSD and overcoming a traumatic situation and dealing with grief and all these changes that happen um, just like in life in general on top of everything that happened to poor Ryan Dean in the first book. What I really loved was the fact that Andrew Smith made it pretty clear and very realistic that grief and overcoming adversity and losing someone that you were very close to is messy. That is not something that someone easily gets over. It's not something that just happens. You have to deal with it. I did love the role that Sam Abernathy, Ryan Dean's new roommate, played in this book. What I felt though was missing was the impact that Sam had on Ryan and Dean. I just felt like it took us too long to get to the point where Ryan Dean realized how much he needed Sam and needed his roommate even though they were kind of at odds and Ryan Dean didn't want to have anything to do with Sam Abernathy. Deep down inside like he knew that he needed him more than anything and I felt like it just took us a little bit too long to get to that point. Now going back on some positive sides, I did really love how unique all the characters are. They each have their own voice. Andrew Smith does that beautifully. The humor was effortless and I also love how they just like integrate and mesh Ryan Dean's cartoons and illustrations into the story. I think that adds such a unique twist. One of the downsides that I found from this book was I felt like they kind of just pushed the envelope and threw things into the story because they could. And for example, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the movie Flight with Denzel Washington, but in that movie I was just like super pumped because I love Denzel Washington and I was expecting pure greatness, but what I got was a movie just filled with F-bombs and while I know that people are going to cuss in R-rated movies, it was just so unneeded. It was like every 30 to 60 seconds there was an F-word and it took so much away from the story. So going back to this book, I kind of felt the same way. I felt like Andrew Smith kind of just like threw some obstacles and discoveries into the story with some of our characters that really didn't make the story any better. I didn't feel like it added on in a positive way. I just kind of felt like it was a little distracting and it was just kind of thrown in there because Andrew Smith could throw it in there. I just didn't really feel like it impacted Ryan Dean or Annie or Sam at all. And like I said, I just thought it was just some extra fluff that I wish I could have seen just like taken out. So with that said, I wish that the story more dealt with Ryan Dean and Sam really evolving their friendship and them being there for each other because Sam is dealing with some issues on his own and obviously Ryan Dean is. And really through most of the book, we just see them at odds. And I feel like I wish Andrew Smith would have taken the time to make their relationship equally as therapeutic for each of them and each of their situations instead of focusing on other side characters and their discoveries and new things that happened in this book. But 
That is really my only complaint. And with that said, I actually ended up rating this book a three out of five stars. I did not love it as much as I loved Winger and I adored Winger. Not saying that I don't think that you guys should pick this up, but just for me, I thought that there were multiple things in the book where I just felt like took away from Ryan Dean's story. So with that said, it wasn't my favorite. It was a good solid read. And I mean, if you're just wanting a book that is going to give you that effortless Andrew Smith humor and type of feel and his characters, like I said, are epic and so unique. I definitely suggest picking this book up, uh, but I did find that it had a way different feel than Winger, so I was a little bit disappointed, but I'm glad I read it. I will say in closing that the way this book ended was very open-ended. It kind of made it seem like there was going to be a third book. I mean, it kind of wrapped up a little bit what was going on, but we were introduced to some new characters and I think that we could get a third book, so we'll just have to see. Anyways, that's my non-spoiler review and thoughts for Standoff by Andrew Smith. Let me know below if you guys have read this book and what your thoughts were and what did you guys think of Ryan Dean and Sam Abernathy's relationship? Leave that down below. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching and hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye.